Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aerial Media Pros channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Matrice 200 series. So uh, this is DJI's first specific industrial and commercial applications platform um, capable of holding two camera systems simultaneously as well as um, the possibilities for an upward camera gimbal as well. So let's just jump right in and uh, start opening up the box here. So you can see size-wise, this is a uh, fairly significant, if you're used to the Inspire 2, this is actually going to be a little bit bigger than that. All right. Take out some of the foam pieces here. Right on top. Uh, looks like we have the calibration target, which this is used for calibrating the obstacle avoidance sensors. All right. So I recognize this case from the original Inspire 1. Very similar, different sizing, of course, but uh, very similar build. Most likely, uh, you're going to want to get a much more sturdy case than this because uh, so, some of our customers were having issues uh, traveling, um, especially on airlines and things like that. So we'll definitely have uh, Aerial Media Pro's Pelican case for the Matrice 200 and are getting that built uh, right now. So we're excited to uh, get this together for you and put together the best packages with those cases and uh, multiple batteries, you know, the usual thing. So, just want to make sure we get everything so you can see it here. Let's go ahead and unzip this. All right. Looks like it caught on the foam there a little bit. Propellers, these are pretty large. Obviously landing gear. Let's get these to the side so that they're not in the way. So you get, looks like to me, we're looking at two sets of propellers. So one set and an extra. And you can kind of see here how everything is collapsible. So it fits into the case like this. The arms and everything dismount from the main body. Um, they're still connected, but um, let's see. Let me pull it out here. Wow, it's really light. It's incredibly light, but the material seems very... Uh, very sturdy. I know that this has a weatherproof rating on it, so it's the first um, DJI system to have a weatherproof rating for um, things like light rain, um, so something like that is not going to um, obstruct your ability to do your job um, in conditions that are not optimal. So um, we really think that that's going to change the game a little bit for a lot of uh, industrial users who need to get the job done sometimes when it's a little bit uh, less than optimal conditions. So we have the controller. This is very similar to the Inspire 2 controller, if not the same exact thing. Um, looks like we have the same outputs as well. So there's that. All right here we have the charger. And this is going to charge, looks like here. The Matrice 200 will uh, fly on two batteries at a time. So these are the TB50 batteries. We don't know at this time if these are exchangeable with the Inspire 2 batteries, if they're the same thing. It looks like there is a change in the way that these LED um, system right here looks a little bit different. So I doubt that it's the ex exact same battery as the Inspire 2. Um, hopefully they would be, but um, you just never know if there is 
specific Matrice 200 batteries, very similar to Inspire 2, but likely that they don't work with, uh, th there's no crossover there in case you do have an Inspire 2. I don't imagine you'd be able to use those batteries on this. So the charger plugs into this quad charging hub. Just a really quick demonstration here. Um, this will open up into four charging ports. And the way that this works is it charges a set at a time. So it's not charging all four at a time. It uh, will charge one set, so two batteries, and then move on to the, uh, the next set. And this will just plug directly into the top, into the charger, and then obviously the wall. Uh, let's open up this for, looks like these are some cables for you. We have a USB cable. Not familiar with what this is. Oh, these are replacement um, propeller mounts. So in case you need to replace these uh, mounts on top here. All right, obviously I have our manual here. Just double checking to make sure we got everything. This is just the, uh, the cable to plug the charger into the wall. So that's that. So everything fits in a fairly small package. The landing gear are on the top of the box here. So those will go in here just like that. All right. All right, so now that we got the box out of the way, Let's go ahead and put the landing gear on first. Let's see. Just gonna lay on its side. This slides right in here. Oh, okay. So there's a um, there's a pin that goes into the landing gear to keep it from coming out. And that'll just tighten down like that. Fairly simple. Lean it up on this side. Same thing, slide it in. Slide the pin in. Man, that's quick. All right, let's turn it around. You can see this is the back side here. Uh, these are battery compartments in the back, um, as well as your LED sequence will be back here as well um, for GPS connection, all that kind of stuff. Let's try and put the arms on. It looks like there's a white identifier here. So we'll go and try and see. OK. So you line it up here, slide on, and then just, yeah, just twist to turn. It's about a 45, I would say a 90 degree turn of this. So you'll kind of put it on, slide it on sideways, and then 90 degrees to lock it in place. Very secure for how simple this process is. It kind of notches in place into that locked position. All right. So everything's good. This is a lot smaller than I expected. Um, really cool, though. Has a lot of uh, just all the material and everything looks really solid. Another thing with the Matrice 100 is now we have obstacle avoidance. So there's sensors on top as well in, as in the front for uh, detecting obstacles. Um, obviously, um, it doesn't cover the sides of the body, but uh, we're most concerned with whatever we are facing with the camera. Um, you'll also have the camera here for a, the pilot to see exactly where he's going. So if you're doing a dual operator setup, pilot can see through this FPV camera, and this is a two-axis stabilized gimbal. So it's actually really quality camera for how small this system is. Um, this is the Matrice 200. So just a brief overview of the 200 series. The 200 comes with a sing single camera gimbal uh, mount here, like you can see. Um, and this will hold anything from an XT thermal camera to an X4S, X5S, any of the new cameras that came after um, about the time of the Z30 when that was released. Um, so yeah, it'll also hold a Z30 as well. 
30 times zoom and any future cameras that they come out with for industrial applications will be based on this platform. And so the 200 holds a single camera mount. Then there is the 210. The Matrice 210 is for dual camera setups. So it actually has two mounts here, same obstacle avoidance, same uh, pilot cam, but you now have the ability to hold the Z30 camera or thermal camera and then any other camera on the other side. So you can hold an XT and a Z30. You can hold an XT and an X4S uh, just for standard RGB. And now you have thermal and RGB on the same, um, in the same feed. And there's actually hardware and software differences in the 210 that allow it to send that signal um, simultaneously to the same controller. So um, you're not at this time, you're not able to upgrade the 200 to the 210 just by adding the the mount. You actually have to have a two. You have to have a 210 in order to support um, dual camera systems. I, I'm pretty sure there is uh, some hardware and software inside the copter that differentiates it from the 200 series. And there's a there's a price jump difference between the 200 and the 210. Then there is the 210 RTK. So you have two camera systems, as well as a um, advanced uh, GPS system known as RTK that allows for centimeter grade accuracy. So you're adding on top of that the ability for this to not only um, save certain GPS coordinates that you know are within one centimeter of the actual um, GPS data, not only is it going to do that, but it's also going to, um, you can use in waypoint missions and things where you need it to be in a certain position um, and you're telling it exactly to be at these coordinates, it's going to fly within one centimeter of that, that mission planning um, that you've already preset. So um, amazing technology. We've been really impressed with it on the Matrice 600 and uh, can only see this working really well with a smaller platform like the 200. Um, like I said, this has weatherproofing on it, so any of the motors and systems that are on here are designed to be um, much more robust and capable of withstanding higher winds, um, even um, up to a certain amount of um, rain, as we said before. And, and just overall, in general, this is the best um, industrial and commercial application vehicle that we've seen from DJI to date. Um, we're excited to get it out flying, but uh, pretty much that's it out of the box. Um, we can go through in future videos um, how to get it set up and actually what, what more on what it can hold and what it's capable of. But uh, if you need any more information on the Matrice 200 series, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, um, or just visit our website. There's plenty of information on there at aerialmediapros.com. Until then, we look forward to seeing you more on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.